With county fairs being canceled, young people in 4-H need to find alternatives to showcasing and auctioning off their livestock. Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemy was out on the farm today to see the hard work these kids put into their animals. You can definitely hear the sounds of farm animals as you roll into Frosty Acres Farm in Scandia. The animals behind the baas and the moos is something these kids are passionate about and one way they can express it and learn more is through 4-H. I've been in 4-H since I was eight years old. With all different types of 4-H groups, 17-year-old Andrew Strom focuses on agriculture. I have grown up on a farm since, I've been on a farm since I was a little kid. I just love the hard work that you have to put in and uh, animals are fun to be around and to work with. With his best friend, Ansel Frost is in 4-H too and it's easy to see that the two bond when it comes to farming. We do everything together pretty much. We, uh, yesterday we went down state to artificially inseminate my uh, sheep and we go on walks together and go to his farm and walk his cows and yeah, it's, it's really good to have somebody close to. Ansel says 4-H has given him a way to connect and learn more from others with an interest in the industry. We just started off as just doing pigs and then we got sheep and goats and steers so it kind of just grew over the years. And Andrew's little sister Marissa is also into 4-H as well and loves life on the farm. I love to just like see the animals every day and like sometimes you just get a good bond with like this certain animal and it's just fun to see them every day. Awesome. Is there um, a certain animal that you like in particular? I like the goats. And why is that? Um, they're just like tiny fun animals to just play with and they're just really cute. With fairs being canceled this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic, youth are not able to showcase an auction off their livestock like they normally would. You know, it was, it was really tough because, you know, that's, that's how we, you know, show off all the hard work that we've done and we don't get to do that this year. Instead, they are selling their animals privately. What ones are you looking to sell? My steer. I think I have almost all my animals sold. I think I have to sell like maybe one more goat. I got a goat that still needs to be sold. For people interested in purchasing livestock, find this story on our website, upmatters.com, to learn more. Reporting in Scandia, Rebecca Bartlemy, Local 3 News.